I'm RJ McGoon, I'm a fifth year student. Um, this is a very intense building for, uh, I guess I was interested in making the iPros much more intense of what they actually, than what they actually are. Um, but I wanted the iPros and anything that's going on within this particular building to be as visual as possible. How can it be as visual as possible and how can it be as kinetic and um, always moving as much as possible, hopefully much like the iPros. And um, basically breaking it down from this rendering, you have this um, huge canopy, which is um, basically a two-way projection system so that when you're working on blackboards within these permanent spaces, the activities from within are actually reflecting onto this huge surface. It becomes this enormous blackboard always uh, representing itself and advertising itself uh, beyond. It also becomes a double skin system, so there's a technical um, sort of innovative sense that this thing is uh, bringing air and pre-treating it. Um, but beyond that, uh, beyond sort of the visual, visual mechanics, I wanted to make it actually as kinetic and movable as possible. So whereas these are permanent spaces, labs, uh, uh, um, uh, workshops and stuff like that, these are the actual classroom modules. And these work in a similar system. They all have that same two-way projection screen so that they become sort of glimmering objects throughout the day and especially during night. Um, but they can also be prefabricated in the shop below and you have these huge cranes on top of the building which can move as well. So every semester they bring these uh, prefabricated modules in this 3D Veronoi uh, diagram and move them into place and they can be clustered in different um, arrangements uh, according to each iPro team. So you can literally build teams and then uh, these enclosures around them become basically the uh, hosts for um, new cladding experiments and new building-based uh, iPro experiments. So basically, the overarching idea is that um, the, the building becomes uh, a project in itself, really. That the building uh, can become basically this enormous host of new uh, building-based iPros and architects and engineers and interior design students can, can uh, consistently manipulate it every semester and uh, it gets represented as much as possible.